Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I will show you how you can install Linux Lubuntu or just create a live bootable USB stick that you can run this operating system from the USB stick on any computer, but it will be mostly designed for the low spec systems such as old computers or laptops with limited hardware. This is a light version of Ubuntu Linux and it's meant to be running on very slow computers. So, and today we're gonna be installing it on like 12 year old netbook which is very slow and I find that even Windows XP or Windows 7 is too difficult for it to run and it's very slow I can barely use it so I decided to go ahead and install something much lighter for the operating system and in this case I picked up Linux Lubuntu so today we're going to be installing it and I'm going to show you how to do that step by step so stay tuned and if you're new to the channel please subscribe also if you find this video helpful support it with your like I appreciate it very much and let's get started all right, so the first step, as always, we want to download the ISO file with Lubuntu. And for that, all you have to do is just gonna go to any browser and then you can just type in Lubuntu download, click on it. And the first search result is gonna be what are we looking for? So what we need to do, just gonna click downloads. So this is one of the ways you can get to this download page. And as you can see, there is two different ISO images available for download and it depends what you need to get. The LTS version is going to be the long-term support so it will actually give you security and maintenance updates for up to five years and the regular one is going to be the newest Lubuntu but it only has support for nine months. So basically if you don't plan to reinstall your operating system in next nine months I would go with the regular LTS version and this way you don't need to reinstall it for the next five years, which is really great. And actually you can still use it as is, like even after the support is over, the only thing you're not gonna get the security and maintenance updates for that operating system anymore. But if you're okay with that, then you can still be using it. And if you wanna reinstall it, well, after five years, you can do that again. And as you can see here, the release cycle for the different Lubuntu operating systems. And as you can see, the current one is 2004. It was released somewhere before 2020 and it will get support all the way almost to 2023 through the Lubuntu team support. And actually it's gonna get even more support, like extended support from Ubuntu communities up to almost 2025. So which is really gonna be a lot. Yes, yeah, so I would definitely go with this one. So what you need to do, you just gotta go ahead and click on this desktop button and as you can see it immediately starts to download this image and while it's downloaded i'm going to tell you why i decided to go ahead and use this lubuntu operating system because it is very lightweight and i'm going to be using it on my really slow computer which is going to be uh, from 2008 it's a small netbook it has a very slow processor it's a single core, two thread, 1.66 gigahertz, which is very slow. And as you can see, Lubuntu is a lightweight, fast and modern Ubuntu flavor. If you install it on a modern desktop or laptop, you don't really need to go with a Lubuntu. But if you have an older machine that you want it to run fast without any lagging or freezing, then you definitely need to try out this one here. Yeah, so it's... It's pretty impressive what they have there. You can use it for playing all the files and stuff. And the good thing about Lubuntu is that it can run on almost any hardware. And as the Lubuntu team support says, it can run on various architectures. So you can use it on a PC, laptop, Raspberry Pi, PowerPC that are all using different architecture. And it will give your computer a second life so you can actually utilize it and not throw it in a dumpster. All right, so there we go. The file is downloaded. Let's go ahead and open it up and show it in folder. There we go. So I have got it all saved here in my downloads right now. So the next step we need to do, we need to create a bootable USB stick. For that, you just got to use any USB stick from two gigabyte and up. Of course, two gigabyte is pretty rare nowadays and you probably won't find one. You can use any other USB stick, let's say 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, whatever you prefer, it should work just fine. So all you have to do, just go to the Google search again. You can either search for Balena Etcher, just like that, and then click on this one. There we go. So this is a download page and just go click download for Windows. 
it's already downloaded click install and agree then minimize the browser and there we go so this is this app here called balena etcher this app you can actually use to burn any usb images doesn't matter which linux distribution you're using you can use it for linux mint you can use it for pop os you can use it for ubuntu lubuntu anything so this is pretty generic step here and actually if you're interested in getting any other linux distribution i recommend checking out the linux mint and you can check out my video i'm going to put a link in the upper right corner one in the description as well which is probably the most windows like experience you can get from linux and another cool distro from linux is called pop os and i also have a link in the description for that as well if you want to check it out it's a new operating system that came out in 2017 so it has a lot of new features but that's not the topic of this video so let's go ahead and continue on burning the image to the usb stick so all you have to do is just click on the flash from file and go to downloads and here you get to find the lubuntu iso and click open so i'm just going to be using the 16 gigabyte usb stick so i'm just going to click select image and as you can see it's a jet flash transcend and it has 15.8 gigabyte available so let's just go ahead and click select and before you guys press this button flash first make sure you choose the right usb device and second make sure there's absolutely no files that you really need because after you do this flash it will format this drive and all the files are going to be gone from the usb sticks so after you have checked all this you can go ahead and click flash there we go so it has started so it's probably going to take about five minutes meanwhile i want to tell you why i have decided to try this lubuntu myself because as i said i have a very old netbook from 2008 it's not that old but it originally came with windows xp on it but now with this windows xp actually cannot handle anything online at all the processor is throttling at 100 percent and you can barely do anything you can barely watch a video on youtube so it's basically just cannot handle anything i really hope that this lubuntu will help it and it will make it work smoother and without any lagging and another thing is why i decided to go with lubuntu because it's a linux distribution it's not microsoft windows which means it's free you don't have to pay for it this is one of the reasons why i decided to go with linux distribution the second thing linux has really great support for its users and you can always rely on other people helping you let's say i made this video for you guys and you ask me questions if i can help you i will answer those questions and i'll try to follow up through all the comments on my channel this way that you can get some support the same way works with other people there's a really good team support for all linux users and the reason number three linux is very safe it has very few viruses and basically you don't need antivirus because it's so safe there's very few viruses out there for linux and usually it cannot harm your computer at all so i think these are the main three reasons why i decided to go with linux and and if you want to check out nine reasons why you should switch to linux from windows you can check out my other video about that and i will give you nine reasons why you should try linux if you haven't decided yet to switch from linux to windows so yeah basically it's a really good alternative there are a few downsides but anyway there is lots of pros of using linux so there we go so the flash is complete now and we can go ahead and close this balena etcher and remove the usb stick from the computer there we go here's a beautiful little guy asus eee pc a netbook from 2008 it was a really good netbook back then you know it was like 300 dollar one and it was very compact and i could use it very good back then but for some reason nowadays having exact same software it just cannot work at all throttle net at 100 percent cpu usage which is impossible for it to run which makes it impossible for it to work with at all like it's basically any app that you're trying to open it just takes forever to open it let's go ahead and try out to install the lubuntu operating system on this very laptop 
And the good thing about having this USB stick, it's actually a live boot USB stick, which means you're going to be able to run operating systems straight from this USB stick. Like I have showed in my other video with Linux Mint, where you can use it to run from any computer, basically just have your own operating system on this flash drive. And the difference between Linux Mint and this Lubuntu one is that this one's actually the lightest weight operating system you can probably get and it will run on any computer from like Pentium 2nd which is really old CPU and with 128 megabyte of RAM so I'm pretty sure nowadays you barely find such computer but anyway let's get started so the first thing you want to do you want to find a USB port on your computer this old netbook has only USB 2.0 but this is no problem because uh, they're backward compatible so even if you have a USB with a, a 3.0 connector it will still work this is a great thing about USB so yeah there we go so I have inserted the USB stick here now let's go ahead and press the power button and it should automatically load into Linux GUB Hopefully that's going to be happening right now. We're going to see that in a second. And as you can see, it didn't start. It started loading Microsoft Windows. So this is not what I wanted. What I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to load into BIOS and change some settings. So it's going to start loading from the USB stick first instead of loading from the hard drive. So to get into the BIOS after the restart, just going to press F2 a few times. So now we have entered into the BIOS setup and as you can see we had to enter there because this USB stick wasn't starting by itself. So what you have to do is just go to, go to the boot settings, boot device priority and as you can see the first boot device priority just got to choose a removable device. Then the second one we're just going to use the HDD drive. Then you're just going to press escape then go to the hard drives and as you can see there's two drives one is going to be the HDD and the second one jet flash so we're just going to change that to the first one for that you just got to choose the first drive press enter then press down and press enter on the USB and it's going to automatically switch after you have done all these operations just press F10 and after it asks you to save configuration yes press enter and now it should automatically start loading into the USB stick. So hopefully that's going to work. There we go. So here we can choose whether you want to try Lubuntu without installing it. Or if you want to actually install it on the hard drive, then it's permanently going to inst be installed on your hard drive. And then you're not going to need the USB stick to actually run it. Also, it will work a lot faster because it's not going to need to be run from the USB stick. But if you want to try it out before you actually install it, that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and choose try Ubuntu and press enter. And of course, depending how fast your computer is, it might take a little bit of time. But also keep in mind it's running from the USB stick. So that will also affect it and make it work slower. But once we actually install it on the hard drive, it will be working a lot faster. So this is one of the things. So there we go, looks pretty cool. It's got a nice logo, Lubuntu or Light Ubuntu. There we go, so this is how it looks. We have got this operating system running straight from the USB stick and it's actually running on the very slow machine from 2008 it's just a little netbook very small processor very slow so let's go ahead and explore it a little bit here it looks pretty similar to windows environment which i kind of like because i'm really used to work on windows and it's hard to get used to a different environment if you don't want to spend too much time so as you can see you have your power off button or shutdown button on the right bottom corner then there is your clock with with your calendar and there is your speaker here and as you can see everything's working everything's connected right away this is your internet sign it's not connected because you would need to connect it to the Wi-Fi 
and this is your battery it's connected right now fully charged here is your bluetooth devices apparently this one has a bluetooth so it actually works and on windows xp i didn't have that option that's pretty cool so let's go have a look at this menu here let's go ahead and see what apps it has here as you can see it has accessories so it has archive manager character map disk it has calculator image viewer leaf pad for the graphics you get document viewer simple scan you have firefox web browser installed and for the office you have some notepads for the sound you can play videos so everything looks pretty similar to Windows and I'm pretty sure it will be easy to figure out what is where. So there you have it guys. This is how you install Lubuntu Linux installation on the USB drive and you can run it basically on any compatible computer and most computers will be compatible with this Linux distro. And if you find that you want to permanently install it on your computer instead of running it from the USB stick, you can just click on the install Lubuntu from the, on the desktop and just follow all the prompts that it's going to ask you and then you should be able to install it no problem if you have any questions let me know so i hope you guys find this video helpful please support it with thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more interesting linux videos i'm going to have some troubleshooting videos some installation videos also i'm going to compare different linux distros so stay tuned there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff so make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell and of course, if you got any questions after this video, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them. I try to read every comment. And if I can help you, I will. But this is it for today. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Bye-bye.